I'm gonna go up the ridge and go all the way up to the top. The seven hour ride from Kathmandu to Pokhara was nothing short of grueling. Just eight people packed into a jeep with no aircon, weaving through the rural, dusty, bumpy roads. First week is spent hiking through villages to get closer to the mountains. Mountains merely beckon from the distance, often shrouded in clouds along the way. Day by day, we get closer to the mountains. Right now we're at an elevation of 3,700 meters at Machu Puche Base Camp. Finally, after days of trekking through the jungle and villages, we have finally made it here to be greeted by stunning views of the magnificent Annapurna Sanctuary. All around me is beautiful mountains. Amazing. Gentlemen, we are at Annapurna Base Camp at an elevation of 4130, and all around us are beautiful, magnificent mountains yet again. The skies are clear, and the golden light is landing upon Hyun Chuli, Annapurna South, Annapurna Fang, Annapurna 1, Ten Peak, aka Tapu Chuli. Today, we'll be heading up to High Camp, Tapu Chuli High Camp. And now we go off the beaten trail, leaving ABC behind us. Going across the gorge, the other side, the 10 peaks awaits us up there. 
Our Sherpa has informed us that the earthquake last year has destroyed most of the routes that used to be here and hence we are making a new route. I'm proud to announce that we have reached Tapatuli High Camp. Woo! That right there is Tapatuli. And look at the views all around. Oh my goodness. The worst thing about mountain climbing is probably the cold. Oh my goodness. I'm in the North Face furnace sleeping bag with two base layers, one t-shirt, one windbreaker and one fleece jacket. Morning guys, time now is 3.24, we are leaving high camp for the summit. Um, it's like sub-zero degrees over here. The skies are clear, which is a really good sign. Looking forward to the summit. Time now is 4.45, we have been walking for 1 hour and 15 minutes. Uh, now we just put on our, our crampons as you can see over here. And we'll be moving on to more glaciated and steeper terrain. Sun is coming up in a while. You can see a little bit of the blue in the sky already. Oh. Time now is 5.20. The sun is up. The place is beautiful. There's no other word to describe it. I'm gonna go up the ridge and go all the way up to the top. This is actually pretty tiring. We walk 10 to 20 meters. Pause to catch our breath and repeat on and on and on. The only reason to carry on is this. Just look at the view, man. Look at that. Just draw your power, draw your energy from the mountains around you. Andre? Struggling, and the struggle is real. Love you, Mom. We come up from all the way down there. The peak is finally in sight, and we only have this final ridge line to climb. Only. Oh. Tempik! Tempik, stop it! Time now is 10.40. We are at the summit of Tempik at an elevation of 5663 meters. It was hard, but we did it. Yeah. But, but the when you're at the so summit, bad. you're only halfway done, that's what they say. You gotta survive the descent. Oh my god. Right now we're having a difficulty descending because it looks like some of the snow has become ice. Duck is just falling off the cliff and it's hanging hanging by the ropes. Oh. Yep, that was Tinsia falling into me. We are still on the descent. This long tedious descent. We've been climbing 11 hours man! 11 hours only. And the discomfort is great compared to the months the expedition people stay on the mountains. We're in like some complete whiteout where the sky is just merged with the horizon. It's like a giant white studio shot. You can't see anything. You have no idea where you're going. You just gotta trust the Sherpa. The danger of 
unseen crevasses is impeding our ability to move. So this is what Kasi of Sherpa just told us. In the whiteout, we're going to continue moving and we have to keep the rope tight so that if he falls into a crevasse, we can catch him. Like what the f 13 hours since we left camp, we're about half an hour to an hour away from the campsite. Uh, the body is now in just survival mode, putting one foot in front of the next and I'm repeating that over and over again. The fatigue is real. The long exertion together with the altitude is making this very painful. 5 p.m. We are finally back at high camp. Amazing. Many thanks to Kuma, our comedian, chef, doctor, weatherman, big brother, all in one guy. <laughs> Kazi, our Sherpa, who saved our asses on the mountain. And our friends and porters, Som and Sandip. Sky.